What's going on you guys? Welcome to Poygan Outdoors. A little bit of a different video today. Um, so uh, you've probably seen a lot of our dogs in the um, in the videos here. We have three labs. We have a yellow lab, black lab, and our chocolate lab. Um, and we actually breed the yellow lab and the black lab. And the chocolate lab is their offspring. So we're having our second litter of pups here. Um, so this video I have to install um, the PVC pipe. It's going to be a bumper goes around the whelping box here um, around the out, outer edge so that when our female lays in there she uh, um, she won't lay on any of the pups so uh, that's what we're gonna be filming today um, and after that I'll show you how this whole whelping box is, box is set up and the theory behind it stay tuned alrighty uh, don't mind the mess over there so what we're gonna do here um, so we've got PVC pipes we got a T um, Four T's, four street 90's, inch and a half pipe, um, and pipe and fittings here. So basically the way this is going to work, um, these will be our corners. So we'll shoot around, come straight across there and shoot this back this way. And then we're going to put like a um, three inch little piece of PVC here to get it up off the ground. Um, so then it'll make like a little barrier all the way around that box. Um, so that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to take these and I'm going to measure them and get my links. I'm just going to make sure this this fits in there alright. And I'm not gluing any of this stuff, this will all be dry fitted. Um, so in case I need to use these pipes for something else, I don't have them, I have them wrecked. So you can see here, um, just got it running all the way down this way. This will be lifted up, and then the pups will be able to go in between here. But mom, she'll lay on this and won't squish them. Um, so yeah, so that's that's one side. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get side two done.
okay so this is it give you a look at this side here so basically it just runs along the side there the only thing we gotta do is raise her up a little bit I think I'm gonna do like three inch pieces here um, to put on those T's at the bottom there and now we'll raise it up so they can go underneath So that's that's it. It's all set up here. So these are raised, and they're a little bit more than three inches. But you know, basically, the idea behind this is if this is the pup, and it lays here, and Mama comes and lays, she lays up against this, and the pup's fine. She won't get get smashed or anything like that. I could could lower it a little bit, but I think we're gonna try out try this out um, for right now. Um, but yeah, so that's the, we just call these bumpers, and again, it's purely. Uh, Really to keep the pups safe um, while they're being while they're really small and they're still nursing off a of mom, um, those those bumpers will will protect them. Um, so I'll run you through this uh, through the whelping box here. Um, it is in our bedroom. Our dog, um, our female, she's very attached to me and and my girlfriend. Um, so there's no way that we could like put her out in a kennel outside or anything like that. Um, so the pups, they'll be in here, they'll be birthed in here, um, and then, uh, until they're weaned off, um, they'll be in here with us. Um, we ran into issues the first time we made this whelping box too small, um, and she actually didn't want to nurse the pups. We had to take the pups out, nurse her, and then put them back in, and it was like every hour, so pups usually eat every hour when they're first born, and then it gets a lot of work, um. So we made this one, um, I'll show you here. Uh, we made this one uh, four by eight, and that's a four by eight sheet of um, OSB down below there. Um, so it's a little bit smaller than four by eight, but her other one was, you know, maybe half of that. Um, so the so all this works, um, the, the entrance here is very, very shallow. Um, Mom can step over that, no problem. The walls, I believe, are two feet high. Um, and then this little area over here is their, their warming area, so, when pups are first born, they have to be kept at 90, 90 degrees. They have to have a spot that's 90 degrees. Um, so we have our heat lamp over here. Um, we did have our uh, thermostat or uh, thermometer over on this end to keep like this side as the warm side. And if they got too warm, they can move over here and this would be the cooler side. Um, we have a heater here. <clears throat> this is an electric heater. We really like this heater. Um, it'll keep this room at 70 degrees. Keep it uh, a very stable temperature in here. It'll keep it at 70 degrees, and then the heat lamp will get you back up to that 90 degrees, and the pups can move where they feel pleased. They'll, they'll move to the warm, the warmth or the cool, whatever they need. Um, and also, if there's so many of them, they'll, they'll all group together, and they might not even need that heat lamp. And of course, when mom's in there, then they don't need it at all. She'll keep them warm enough. Um, but anyways, so so that's it. So the bumpers here, like I said, are to protect the pups. In case they are on the edge, they don't get smushed in between mom and, and the walls. So the bumper is there for. Um, got the heat lamp to keep them um, warm. We got 
um, a heater that we run, electric heater all the time to keep this room steady because we do heat with a wood stove. Um, so that thing will kick on and off depending on if it needs heat in here or not. Um, and obviously the wood stove, you know, it fluctuates. That electric stove keeps it um, consistent temperature. Um, this little box or the little top on here is just to con concentrate the heat inside here. Um, we're obviously in a bigger room. We want this to be the warmest area and then they can move out into the cool if they need to. Um, and then uh, this, let's see here. Um, so this, I'll get you guys set up here on a, sec on a different way. Hang on one second. All right, so the, this welcoming box is set up um, so it's easy to clean. Um, we do have plastic underneath here. Um, I'll get you an in-depth look at that. Um, but basically what this does, this whole thing, we'll scoot you down here a little bit. Um, so here, here's the plastic, if you can see that. Um, this whole thing lifts up, comes up out of here. And the idea behind that is, is that we'll lift this box up, um, set it off to the side. We'll take, um, we, have, we have the blanket in here right now for when she gives birth. Um, but usually we'll have a newspaper in here. We'll take that plastic and we'll wrap it up into a ball. Take it outside, you know, so we don't lose anything and um, all that newspaper, everything gets thrown away. And then um, over here, we have a big roll of plastic um, that we got that, that fits perfectly in here. It's a four by eight, or it's, I should say it's four feet wide, so we make it as long as we want. Um, and then we roll it right across here, set the box back on, put our bumper back in, and then put more newspaper in there, and then it's good to go. Um, so when the pups are first born, um, we'll clean it, um, not right away after, the, they all have to nurse or whatnot, but pr pretty regularly, um, once a day, and as they get um, bigger, it'll be more twice a day, sometimes three times a day. Um, so yeah, so this thing just lifts right off of here, it's not attached at all, but um, we did put these 2x4s in here, which that, um, that gives you that barrier, they won't be able to get underneath that at, at all, um, and then once... She's done weaning, weaning the pups. Um, we have a, another board that goes on here that will make this wall two feet. Um, so we'll, we'll keep that in there because they will start crawling out of here sooner than you think. And you guys will see that in the videos um, going on here. But yeah, so that, that's our design. Um, it's not nothing pretty or nothing like that. Um, but it's really nice, really easy to clean, uh, especially with a big roll of plastic like we got. Um, just lift it up, take two people, lift it up, two people lift the plastic, put some plastic down, put more newspaper down, you're good to go. You're, you got that thing done. I mean, it takes us, I don't even know if it takes us five minutes to do it, but, um, yeah, it works out pretty slick. This is our first year with these bumpers. Um, in the past, we just used two by fours. I just screwed two by fours in at that height and, uh, went with that way. Um, I didn't have enough two by fours laying around, um, and I do some plumbing work on the side. Um, so I'm like, well, what the heck, we'll grab some. PVC and I'll make one of those and that way I can use all those uh, all those joints and the other PVC um, for other side jobs and whatnot. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, the pups, right now it's January 5th. The pups are actually due here in 10 days. Um, J January 15th is, is uh, 63 days. Um, um, dogs, they're, they're uh, I forget the, the term is, um, their pregnancy term lasts 63 days. Um, so that would be January 15th for us. She could have it early. She could have them later. Um, the last time we bred her, she was right on the money. It, it was that day that she had them. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll walk, we'll take you guys through that. That's going to take up a lot of our time. Um, those, that first month is, is, is a lot, a lot of work. Um, so you'll be here with that. You'll see these puppies grow. Um, and, uh, again, we have labs, um, with our male and our, our female, um, they'll throw 50% chocolates, 50% blacks. There's the chance, 50, 50%. Um, and that, at least that's, <laughs> I'm no biology major, but that didn't do my, my punnet squares, I was told. And uh, that's what I, what I figured out. So we'll see if I'm right, but it should be about 50, 50. Um, last time around, we had nine pups. Uh, we had our ultrasound about a month ago now and there's for sure six pups in there and up to 10 there's actually so many in there that she the ultrasound person couldn't see it there see them all individually so that's a good sign um our female she's bigger i mean i'm, I'm sure you've seen her on the video she looks like a fat lab but that she's a, she's a pregnant lab um and she's way bigger than she this time around than she was last time but anyways um that's that i probably talked to you off enough um 
So the next time you'll see a pup video, it'll probably be after she's had them, and um, we'll run you through some of those processes, processes, and uh, we'll show you the pups. So until next time, thank you for watching. Take it easy.